Good morning, my Sagittarians. Happy Tuesday. I was going to say Monday, but it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, Sagittarius. We are starting the Zodiac off with our fire signs uh, just a day late. I hope you guys had a good weekend, good start to your week. Hope you guys are weathering the storms wherever you are if you are affected by the cold this, this uh, past weekend, especially to... Um, all my friends in Buffalo, please be safe. Please take care of yourself. They're really going through a tough time. I know here, and um, I live in Northern Indiana near Chicago, it was blizzard, um, blizzard conditions. It's very, very cold. So please be safe where you are. All right, Sagittarius, Temperance Reverse. I'm using Wheel of Fortune for the main deck, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for the clarifying deck. I have a Temperance Reverse and I have a um, Judgment Reverse. And I'll be honest, those are two tough energies. And judgment reverses when you know, but you don't really lack the incentive to change a situation. Maybe it's just, maybe you're tired, you know? Maybe you're just not in the mood. Maybe this past holiday season, you just weren't really feeling it. It was a tough year. Some of you could have really lost some loved ones, could have been through the ringer in the heart and just really wasn't feeling it. Um, yeah, temperance reverse going on here. What's below it? And strength reverse. And six of wands reverse. Could have lost a job too. All right, let's see what where we're going, Sag. Let's see where we're going. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Sagittarius. If you are a Sag, know a Sag, feel like being a Sag. Well, Sages, I'm glad you're here. You can be a Sag and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Sag. It could resonate as the main story. And Sag could be the cross watcher. This reading could be for a Sag. This reading could be about a Sag. It almost feels like the, the magic or the spark, you know, is just kind of waning this year. Or let's see where this, let's see what's going on here. General energy, collect the messages for the Sagittarius. Collect the messages for the Sagittarians. What is the general energy for the Sagittarians? There it is. Yeah, magician reverse. Could be just feeling lack of power, lack, it feels like a lack of motivation. Some of you may not be working and that just is eating at the ego, you know, eating at your self-esteem. What's influencing the magician reverse? And remember, when the magician comes out, reversed or upright, it doesn't matter. It's still a manifester. It's just, you're not feeling, you're just not feeling yourself these days. Some of you might even be sick. Just not feeling yourself these days. What's influencing the magician reverse? What's influencing the magician reverse here? There it is, two cards. You got the death card, that's 10 of pentacles and the moon reverse. Now the, ten, the moon reverse can be something to be revealed in the death card. Um, could be money coming in, an inheritance coming in, a settlement coming in. I do feel like more money. I definitely got money specifically coming in. That's gonna help your situation. And could be a job coming in. It's going to help you get back in, in, into this energy. I know you're the Knight of Wands, but the Queen, everybody needs to have this going on in their life. The Queen of Wands is confidence. It's getting that vigor back, um, putting yourself out there, feeling alive, feeling like you are a part of something bigger instead of being over here in your head. This is procrastination, overthinking something, and then nothing gets accomplished. And then you end up over here in a Four of Swords. Um, and it'll be like another day, nothing happened. So I feel like you're going from a four and four swords and eight of swords into a queen of wands and a magician energy. Why? It could be a complete transformation with this death card. It could be an ending to a relationship, finally letting a job go or starting something new. The death card isn't just about an ending. It's also about a new beginning. The moon reverse, I specifically got something is about to be revealed and attached to that is a 10 of pentacles. It's more money. It's more confidence. It's more security. And like I said, some of you have been waiting on hearing it back from money. Whatever this 10 of pentacles is, I feel like it's going to flip this magician to the other way for you. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading, Sagis? What's the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, kids? What's the reason for the reading? What is it? The judgment upright and ace of swords. Look at that. Talking about a new, in the chariot, maybe you're going to buy a new car. The chariot, the seven of swords reverse and the four of cups reverse. There is a, I really feel like there's a huge 
cloud over your head and could have to do with money. It could have to do with bills. So, and right now it might feel like a seven of swords. This could be a, a problem that you are feeling like it's out, it's outnumbering you, you know, but a seven of swords reverse is finding a solution and this, and how do I explain this right? Once the solution is found, you're going from a four cups to a four cups reverse, no longer feeling tied to a certain type of energy. You're going to break free from that, breaking free from the comfort zone, breaking free from the barriers that have been holding you back and getting onto your chariot. And, and I feel like this is the Knight of Wands version, part of that, getting out into the world again, getting out into life again. Ace of Swords and the Judgment. I really feel like a message is coming in attached to hearing that you got a raise, a promotion, a job. Oh, sorry, that's Harry the Capricorn. Take that as confirmation. That's really, Judgment is also re, uh, death and rebirth. There's a message coming in that is going to change everything for you. I'm telling, and, and when that happens, it makes, you're going from, a magician reverse, making that decision, getting out of your head into a king of wands. I mean, it, the, the change in energy is amazing here. I just feel like right now you feel like this, it's never going to change because there's something attached to it. And I feel like it has to do with something material like bills or money, um, a lack, a lack of something, lack of something in your life. And then something comes through, something comes in, and it's just like that. Everything changes. Your whole perspective changes. All right, what's in the past for Sagittarians? What's in the past for the Sagittarians? Let me lay this down. What's in the past for the Sagittarians? What's in the past for the Sagittarians? The Four of Wands. Happiness, security. I get security. You thought you had something and then it was just gone. You thought you can count on something. It, maybe you have people counting on you. All right. What's on your mind, Sag? What is on the Sagittarian's mind? What is on the Sag's mind? What is on the Sagittarian's mind? What is on the Sagittarian's mind? The Eight of Pentacles, working again, accumulating again, saving again, no longer spending. Look at that, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Eight, Nine, and Ten of Pentacles, Judgment and Death. You have some big changes here. I think even in your bonus read, it was all about this huge change coming in. And right now, it's hard to see it because being a magician reverse, it just feels like, Eeyore a bit like I don't know Pooh I don't know and then some a miracle happens it's it, truly expect the unexpected all right what's in the near future what's in the near future I feel like you're gonna hear good 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 news around it's like waiting I, I specifically feel like you're waiting on hearing about a promotion or a raise could be inheritance it's something attached with money specifically and you feel blocked from it. You're tired of spending more than you're making. Um, yeah, this is definitely gonna help that out. What's in the near future, Sag? What's in the near future? What's in the near future for the Sagittarians? What's in the near future for the Sagittarians? It is the Three of Pentacles reverse. Give me one more card there because I pulled it and I really wanted, I really wanted Spirit to pull the card for me. Why, what's in the near future for the Sagittarius? I feel like this Three of Pentacles reverse is why you're feeling a Magician reverse because you're still in something that's not working for you. It's something that really needs to leave your life. It's, it's a release of this. All right, what's in the near future for Sag? What's in the near future for the Sagittarians? What's in the near future for the Sagittarians? What's in the near future for the Sagittarians? Anything? Can I get a card, please? Can I get a card? What's in the near future for the Sagittarians? What's in the near future for the Sagittarians? Anything? Sag, it doesn't want to give me another card. 
Okay, let me try a couple more times here. What's in the near future? Anything? 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 There it is. I knew. Persistence, pace. Oh, page of wands reversed. You might feel blocked from your abundance. Feel blocked from anything good, and then something comes through. Six of swords. Energetically being able to move on to calmer waters. A message comes through that changes it all. Strength reverse and a three of pentacles reverse. I feel like you finally can let this go that you've been holding on to. Um, it really wasn't doing you any favors and it could, it, it could, it just wasn't, it wasn't doing you any favors. It was an old relationship that's already gone. It was a job. What, it, it's old sadness. It's old hurt. It's something that didn't work out because something new and something better is in it with that ace of swords and the judgment. Yeah, it just feels like this rain cl cloud is finally parting and you finally get that rainbow, you know? You finally can see the rainbow after so many cloudy days. All right, what's this magician reverse influenced by the death card, the ten of pentacles, and the moon reverse? I mean, look at major, major, major. And then a ten of pentacles. Big, big event in your life. So that tells me the energy is very big in your life too. So you might be feeling like it's it's really hard to find the motivation to carry on day to day for other people, especially around the holidays. It's just the energies are really heavy in your life to, to make this major change. It's like forcing you to make this major change. What's the magician reverse influenced by the death, the ten of pentacles and the moon reverse? The magician reverse influenced by the death, the ten of pentacles and the moon reverse. So, and an offer comes in six of pentacles taurus energy it comes in a message ace of swords and the judgment changes your outlook changes your life and it literally changes your life because the judgment is a re death and rebirth so is the death card you have two deaths and rebirths after just kind of giving into your current circumstances why the six of pentacles it's more it's definitely more money now, I mean, you have a six, eight, nine, and 10. The one thing you don't have is a seven. Three of cups reverse and a four of cups reverse. Look at the sequencing. So we have an eight, nine, and 10. We have a three and a four. Oh my gosh, even the pentacles. No, I mean, even the pentacles, it's like we're only missing a couple. Here's the magician upright. But so anyway, we have a three of cups reverse and a four of cups reverse. Three of cups reverse is a lack of fun in your life, a lack of happiness in one's life. But something comes in in between these two cards to change this because a four of cups reverse is no longer feeling like you need to just be in this glum energy. A three of cups reverse can also be a backstabbing energy and some that heavy energy could have just trapped you right there in the moment when it happened. Back here, you thought you were gonna marry this person. Back here, you, you thought you had your happily ever after and then they cheated or or a friend backstabbed you because this is this is definitely disloyal energy a three of cups reverse it's also a lack of happiness in one's life and it could have led from a disloyal energy but the biggest thing here is a four cups reverse is no longer sitting here waiting on something to change this is getting up from that tree and saying you know what i want to investigate any and all cups available to me i don't just need this one cup to be happy i want any and all cups I'm ready for it. You're in the full energy is what you really are in. And here's the magician and here's the hangman reverse. You're untying yourself to the past and anything that held you back. And you're, you're just trying on any, any new energy that, that fits. You're not putting yourself into any kind of box or any kind of class. And you're just wherever the wind blows, that's where you're going to find yourself. And that truly is what the Knight of Wands energy is about. All right, so judgment in the Ace of Swords, reason for the reading. I feel like a, a move though, travel, movement. It could be buying a car too and traveling that way. Definitely movement. Ace of Swords and judgment, reason for the reading for Sages. Ace of Swords and judgment. Ace of Swords and judgment for Sag. Eight of Wands, movement. I just said that. You're back, babies. You're back. Eight of Wands is, is a lot of movement going forward. A lot of moment. Ace of Swords again. Don't see it often. You got two. And that's the yes card. You got a yes coming in. You got that promotion. You got that job. You got that inheritance. I'm telling you there's money attached to this. Knight of Wands. Four of Wands reverse. You got to let this go. It didn't work out. 
I feel because it's in this it's in the same it's like weighted but it's weighted unhappiness you've been holding on to it's got to be it's got to be really heavy holding on to what no longer serves you it's like your arms and your soul have to be tired holding on to the unhappiness of others or what they did to you and I feel like you're just saying you know what strength reverse I don't have the energy anymore to hold on to past hurt and trauma I don't because there's no room for the good things in my life if i keep holding on to the hurtful things and i choose with the hangman reverse to only let the good in and i and i choose to let all the bad out okay what is the four of wands in the past for sagittarians what is the four of wands in the past aries energy for the sages and the four swords forced to talk about security and i feel like somebody you counted on pulled themselves back ghosted you could have been cheating with three of cups reverse and your whole world changed and some of you got really stuck in this traumatic event for some time but on your mind is eight and a nine of pentacles is it is is concentrating on what you can change eight and nine of pentacles on your mind what is this about eight and nine of pentacles virgo energy lovers reverse I feel like this is saying, I really feel like you're throwing yourself into money, into work, into, um, into your work here. Yeah, seven of wands. You, I'm telling you, get that promotion. This is somebody who's seen. This is somebody who's, who's wanted. A seven of wands is a position that people want and sought after, and you get it. Queen of swords, you get it. You get it. Three of pentacles reversed in the strength, reversed in the near future. Capricorn, which is also the devil energy that's been holding you back. The three of pentacles reverse and the strength reverse in the near future for Sagittarius. What is this about? And the king of pentacles. There's no room for this king to hold on to a devil energy. He only has abundance around him, not pain and terror and, and hurt. And I feel like, yeah, look at this wish fulfillment coming in. Nine of wands reverse and the empress reverse. I feel like in this energy, some of you have been holding on to what hurt you the most and you're letting that go to allow the abundance in. That's just really what I'm getting and it's very abundant. All right, my sa beautiful Sagittarius, have a fantastic rest of your week. Have a very happy um, new year. I know I said in your bonus reading, I was gonna do a bone, like a, a prediction read this week, but it got too complicated with the spreads. I think on Friday, if I pull it off on Friday, I might just do a live all sign, you know, like I used to do, but I'm gonna pull a few cards for each sign on predictions. I think it'll be easier on something like that. And hopefully I'll do it on Friday or Saturday. Um, yeah, what's coming in the new year. So, but I'll see you before the new year, but be safe anyway, you wild animals. All right. I love you guys. Take care.